This is a video, and I don't usually do this type of video, but this is a retraction of something that I had recommended earlier. This is an inductance and capacitance meter. It cost me about $30. And, you know, it, it works well when it's working. This is the third one I've owned, and it's just gotten flaky and doesn't do the job anymore. Now, the first one I bought, granted, that was on me. I connected a capacitor to it before it wasn't discharged completely. I heard a little spark, and yeah, when it came on, it wasn't working right. The second one, I didn't never used a capacitor with it. In fact, that's what I told myself. Just don't use this thing for capacitors. It'll be safe. Only used it for inductors, and it slowly flaked out on me. And now this one. So I don't know what the deal is. I have seen things on the internet where there's a couple chips underneath here. You could replace them. I ordered those chips and tried replacing it. I didn't have any luck, so... That wasn't the case, at least in the one I had. So I'm giving up on it. I mean, that's $90 on, plus shipping on stuff that, I don't know, it just doesn't last very long. So what I have done is, uh, this is not an endorsement. It's just a fact of life. I am replacing it with this thing. And... Yeah, it seems to work. Now, I don't know how long it's going to last. I may be, in a few years, I may be issuing a retraction on this. Who knows? But it seems to work. It also has some features that uh, that this one that this one never had. Uh, so it'll do Q. In other words, the quality of the coil. Uh, it'll do automatic LCR. It'll do manual LCR. All that good stuff. So, yeah, I, I've played with this a little bit. Uh, and so far, it's just done a really good job. So, uh, I am switching, I am changing my religion, if you will, from the cheap, this thing, to a better one, and uh, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your electronics work.